What is a soul contract? When we think or hear the word or expression, contract, immediately after, we think of something that is done between two parties. These contracts are carried out, because on a spiritual level, souls, especially those souls that we can consider old souls, who already have many incarnations, establish contracts, or agreements with other souls. Souls with whom for different reasons we have decided to meet in the present life. Stay until the end of the video, to discover more about souls contracts. Let's start. We have to start from something that all of us who are on this spiritual path must know and remember that it is, that the soul is an immortal, eternal energy, and that under such essence, it can never die. That what is written, is linked it is agreed at the soul level, it not only remains forever but is mandatory once the souls incarnate and arrive at this present life. Starting from this point, we have to know why souls reach agreements with other souls, the reasons can be infinite, what prevails in the spiritual and soul path is the evolution of the soul, but there are two reasons that in the great most of the cases, they are usually present in all contracts. These cases are, the first to solve pending issues of other karma lives and the second is that through that contract between two souls, then there are soul contracts at levels of families, friends, relationships that include a higher number of souls. The second case is that of the twin flames, which we agree with our loved ones, the reunion in the present incarnation also for different reasons, but the most common are the elimination of pending issues from other lives. Illumination and growth of the soul, spiritual learning of the path of the soul, and spiritual process, path of the twins, if to all this, the twin souls, we agree with our loved ones, that once all this has been overcome, defeated and crossed, we will unite as a couple on an earthly level. We are signing not only a soul contract, but a sacred and divine soul contract, the love of soulmates is to live the love of heaven on earth. With this we are being reminded not only of the sacredness and the eternal bond of those two souls now, two of us who are one but that the love of the soul is something spiritual, something divine. But focusing on the level of soul contracts, we will say again that once those souls agree to something before being born, that pact is engraved in the essence of the DNA of each of the souls who sign that contract. It is something that is freely chosen, always seeking and thinking about the greatest good and evolution of the soul, since in reality in the spiritual path, what counts is precisely the evolution of the soul itself, before other things. Once the contracts are made, and it is agreed in what way that is going to be carried out on the earthly plane, at what time, at what moment, what should we happen, what should we do. When souls come into contact with the physical body, that is, it is incarnated, our immortal and divine essence, loses consciousness of what we are. Also, all souls have something called, free will, granted by divinity, that free will allows the soul to make use of her freedom to choose, in the divine universe everything is moved by the universal laws that govern the destinies of souls, and the free will of the soul is always respected, especially by divine forces, our spiritual guides or angels who are the energies of good and light that they accompany, guide and protect all souls. If you want to subscribe to my channel you will receive more videos like this. Let's continue. With all this I want to say that although when we disincarnate, and we make all the agreements, the pacts and we sign a soul contract, we do it freely, because in those planes we see everything easier, simpler and without difficulties to handle it. Once incarnated, the soul, being silenced by the ego, has difficulties to make its voice heard, which is relegated by the mind of the ego, which always acts in the most comfortable, fast, simple way, which is to go against it. But like everything divine it is perfect, since the divine intelligence is above all. The agreements that the souls have made will be fulfilled, although for this the hand of destiny and the force of time have to come into play. This is just my opinion. Soul contracts must be fulfilled and carried out, soul contracts cannot be bypassed forever, they cannot be broken. What happens on earth when a contract is broken? Other factors come into play to enforce that contract, especially with twin flames. When one of the two parts of that twin unit does not want to comply with the agreement. What happens is that free will can delay the fulfillment of the twin's contract, but it can never be breached. 
When a couple of twin flames agree to meet again in this life, they carry out the spiritual process that this path has, and the final union was agreed in this life as a couple, this will be fulfilled yes or yes. If the union in body with our twins is part of our path in this life because it was agreed and signed with our own energies, that of the two, the male part and the female part of this soul, this union will be realized even if the free will of one of the parties prevents it now. The divine and the eternal always prevail. When that reunion with our loved ones is close, the divine forces, especially our guides, will make us see, or feel, witness through signs, dreams and others. As always remembering that there is something called divine time, that it can never coincide with earthly time, and that for the moment what we have to do is do the best we can with our current life. We know that there are forces and powers that we cannot see with our physical eyes, but that act when they must, like time and destiny that always move in favor of divine unions because nothing can break the bonds of souls. Nothing and nobody can prevent the fulfillment of the contracts of the soul. The breach of a contract of the soul, does nothing more than load the soul with everything that was pending, which it said would be done and was not done with more ballast for the next lives where if or if the soul must return to remedy that breach. Watch this next video that will also interest you, Twin Flame Soul Recognition.